in this video, I'm going to explain how to use LeadGood software and Madrix to record the effects then use with H870SA controller. So first you go on the LeadGood software. This is the LeadGood software interface. So you click on settings. So the first thing is to do the mapping. So the first you go on settings couple here. So on this settings couple, you can choose the the um, length or the width of your pixel you are using. So you click new, and here you can choose the which number you want to use. So I want to go with 100, 500 height and width. Then this is 100 by 100 by width. Then you drag it, you mark all the lines, so you drag it, and then you have this box with different colors. And the next thing is to save this mapping. So first you need first you click on file. You click on file, then you go down to save. Go down to save. Then you can save to any folder which you want, or, or let me just put it on desktop. Then create any name which you need. Just create one and save. And the next thing you click on file again and to save as output mpv output mpx file dvi then you click there and you go to mod so i'm going to go to the first option again to i'm going to save on the desktop save on the desktop write the name which you want just go with ty so done with the first step so then you close the software or just close the software. The next thing is to go on Matrix software. I'm going to use Matrix 5. In this case, you can use any Matrix version which you have. Just be here in a few seconds. The Matrix is going to open. In the Matrix software, the first thing is to go and choose the effects which you want. So to choose the effects, you come on SCE color and you choose which effect you want to record. So let me go with this one, the first effect I want. And the second effect I want to go with the wave. And the fourth effect I want to go with the um, plasma. And the fourth one I want to go with the snake. In this case, I'm going to record only four files. So after recording the file, so the next thing is to go on preference again and click on patch editor. And patch editor is going to take us on this page where you need to put your mapping here, do the mapping also on matrix. So first let's have the new file here, the new file. So first we delete which is already there. You click yes and you need to import the file which we save as ty, the file which you save as mpx. So you click open and you import the same file. This is the file. Then this is the file here. We have the file which we ex imported. And now we need to mark everything, control A. So we are done and we reduce our matrix. We go on the scalpel again. And now we need to record the effects. After I close the lead with software, it's going to give you this page. I want to record as a batch record. So we click on batch record and we get this interface. So on this interface, the height 100, the width 100. So we don't need to change anything. And here, record type, we need to choose the fixed time. So we are going to work with 100 seconds. On the part, you choose how many effects you want to record. So I'm going to record four effects here. I'm going to record four effects, then you click four here. So there's another option. Also, there's another thing which you also need to make sure that you pay attention to it. On preview, you need to click on preview and make sure the first external preview is DVI and the second external is also DVI. So let me go. So after that, you click on start to start recording the 
effects the last thing is to choose the folder which you want to save your effects so let me save on desktop it is easier to find so let me click start recording so if i start recording it's starting from one up to four so you can see even you can see now it's recording you can see on the screen is recording recording now we're on the page so we complete recording our effects then we close this page the file which are recorded were in the video format so you need now we need to convert the video format to dta file so you can play them in the h87 controller you need to import those video files so you come here on import video file you can see these are the four effects which are recorded so now they're in video format want to convert them to dat file so copy the four for i files i mean files it depends on the files you have you click open so you see the file we have here so the next thing is to export this file we have dat file so we click export and now we're exporting the four files output finish so now we have four dta files these are the dta files so you, these are the dta files you can see dta files so you copy these files to the sd card and now you can insert in the hh7 controller and play the effects offline that's all about using matrix and leads due to create the effects